What's going on guys? We're back here at our amazing place, Corals and More. That is actually a huge mess right now. Show them all the mess, Bryce. So we've uh, been doing some crazy renovations here at the store. And we even got right over here, a uh, brand new little uh, boom freezer. That is uh, a little bit wet right now, thanks to our humidity issue in the store. Uh, don't own a fish store. It's very wet <laughs> and gross. Um, everything, everything that you think is going to be awesome in the store, it's not awesome. Look at our windows up there. Humid, <laughs> water, water everywhere. We've got three dehumidifiers running full blast all the freaking time and uh, we still have issues. But I mean, when you see all the water volume, like uh, all these tanks that are uncovered, including this ginormous pond with our good friends, Elvis and Paku J. Uh, play back to a clip of last night when Bryce was trying to mouth to mouth feed Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a kiss. And we're back. <laughs> uh, it went well. I mean, he didn't eat you, Bryce, so that's great. Yeah, but shout out to our friends at uh, Pace Appliances, Bobby and his wife. They're super awesome. Uh, we're actually, we just put an aquarium up at their place and we're adding fish and corals and we're giving them a whole coral reef system. And uh, they really hooked us up with an awesome freezer. We're selling our old one. It was too loud, noisy, and probably gonna burn the building down because it's so freaking old and janky. So we had to get something new. We do have some bad news to tell everyone. Uh, old boy here, our guitar fish, uh, he died. Aww. He died, it sucks. Uh, Everyone's favorite though, this is, this is who you can blame. This is who you can blame. You can blame everyone's favorite in the store. Uh, the porcupine puffer we call bacon. He, uh, he decided to eat the guitar fish's eyeballs out, which we knew was a risk, but we kind of figured we already had a, you know, stingray in here, so it shouldn't be an issue. It was an issue, he died. Yeah, so uh, porcupine puffer, where is he? Oh, he's up there. He's always sleeping on the rocks. Let me lower the water level. I'll put some B-roll footage too. He's hiding right in there, that little turd. Bacon, as much as we love him, I'm, uh, I'm kind of upset with him. He didn't have to do my boy like that. Our luxurious trough that we have here <laughs> uh, is doing really well. Uh, we just added some more, um, let's see here egg crate the other day and it's looking pretty solid still want to clean it up a bit it's still a work in progress but we've got some fish actually in here now we've got a scopus tang we've got a Dijardini red sea sailfin here as well he's looking really solid you know just kind of to add up to the cleanup crew to get rid of any algae on pesty uh coral frags and stuff like that you can kind of see it now that it's a little cleared up it's still dirty it's the end of the cycle so there's a lot of algae at the bottom of it but other than that this the system's doing really good we've got a few wrasse some monos crab snails cleaner shrimp kind of hiding right there um and a, an enemy on a manipora which is kind of funny but everything's doing really solid in here we're pretty happy with it it's nighttime i just turned on the lights so everything's really pissed off right now but it is what it is this system the other day we got a new upgrade for this guy uh, an upgrade that I did not think we were gonna get, but we actually used the MP40 that was on the 160 gallon system and just put it here on the uh, 200 plus gallon frag tank. And we're gonna actually do another one here and here. And I know you're probably saying, Logan, why didn't you do, you know, MP60s? Well, your boy's not made of a bread, okay? I'm not rich, no matter what you think. I drive a 1989 F-150, <laughs> it's not anything crazy. But since we took the MP40 off of this system, we actually just upgraded with the Nero 3 from Aqua Illumination that I had no idea was gonna be as good as it was for how tiny this freaking thing is. Like you can look in the tank, like I said, it's nighttime, everything is kind of meh. So I'll throw some B-roll footage of like what it actually looks like. Uh, so everything's just now starting to open up again, but look at all the water flow like over there. It's ridiculous. And this thing is maybe like two inches, three inches, like probably two and a half inches, like I guess width wise. Uh, it's a really nice, you know, power head. It's really tiny and slick. Um, the only thing I do want to complain about, and I hope, you know, soon since uh, Ecotex patents are about to run out, that hopefully Aqua Illumination steps up too and they do their like power brick thing out here. Uh, that way there's no cord going inside of the tank. 
Only complaint, only complaint. Other than that, this thing is moving water like crazy. I really like it. The app is really awesome too. It hooks right into your, let's see, AI app. So my AI, you click on it, you scroll down, it's really cool. When you wanna change anything, you just go to flow and say edit. And what's cool is you just grab a piece of this. So like, let me grab, well, I say that, I gotta use two hands. So say let's grab this constant speed. All you wanna do is drag it over to where you want it and then you can kinda of set it to whatever percentage you have too. Like right now, these are all set to 75 and you see how much flow this thing is like making. Uh, so I can even crank this thing up more. But for that being so freaking tiny, wild, wild. The corals like it, Ganiapora. It's like really super good. Um, so super happy with that. And for the price, that is way cheaper than an Ecotech Powerhead. Those guys, I don't know off the top of my head. I know wholesale for me, that was really good. Like I could buy like 10 of those guys and not have to worry about price, uh, which is really nice. Um, but Ecotech, I mean, I'd still pay for three, three, four hundred dollars per pump, and that's just a lot of money, man. It, it really adds up, especially for being a small business, a mom and pop store, not made of money. You know what I mean? Um, we rely on, you know, cost-effective things. Other than that, over at Paku J, he's doing really, really well. Here's a little update for him. Uh, he eats out of our hands. Actually, Bryce and I fed him earlier today, and he ate a uh, what was it? A silver side right out. We'll post that footage here in just a second. But Elvis, Elvis is looking really good. Fat as always, always tries to eat your hands, but super cool fish, super friendly. I love this guy. Super glad we have this guy too, man. I just love this fish. Such a nice little dude. You shouldn't really touch him like this. Um, you can wipe off their slime coat. He had a little something on his head that I wiped off. So everyone, the iridescent sharks, um, those were all donated. We've got some really cool fish in here and hopefully, uh, shout out. Oh my goodness, shout out to Rodrigo. Um, hopefully we can get a uh, Arapaima in here pretty soon. I'd like to grow one out. Uh, we're talking to Rodrigo right now about maybe getting one. So that'd be awesome. Shout out to Predatory Fins. I've already got my albino arowana. I'd like to put him in here, but he has a lot of growing to do. He is a little baby. Don't mind all this junk in here. This is the back room, so I'm gonna close this up. Yeah, Arowana is super tiny right now. He's probably maybe a foot, maybe. So he's got a lot of growing to do. The fact that Elvis just ate a freaking foot and a half gar the other day, um, lets me know that that guy is just a chew toy. That gar was like this big dude and he ate him whole. Yeah, I'm still mad at you, Elvis. Get those fingers. Yeah. But other than that, I think uh, that's everything for today. Uh, we plan on doing some more videos, usually once or twice a week. That's kind of our goal. We'd like to post that much. It's a lot to edit and stuff like that each week, especially with owning the store, doing maintenances, other jobs and stuff like that too. But for the most part, we're gonna try and edit and post more. We're pretty excited. We got some good stuff we wanna show you guys here in the future in the next couple weeks. Uh, tank installs, we've got a really cool system we're about to put up here. We had just acquired an L-shaped aquarium that's 180 gallons. And uh, I don't wanna give too much away of it because it's gonna be super cool, but video. yeah, yeah, new video. We might do some uh, garden eels, something you don't see too often. Uh, but for the most part, I think that's it. Uh, besides store renovations and stuff like that, we'll keep you posted. So yeah, stay shaking, Bacons. <laughs>